Hi guys, Noah Carspeck in here, delivering another video about fire extinguishers, fire suppression. This particular video is about the hydrostatic test of stored pressure type fire extinguisher. What you're going to see is Gary is, is doing the, the full hydrostatic test here. We wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea on how that works, uh, whether you are a fire equipment distributor or an end user. Gary is taking this extinguisher apart here. He's getting the top off and he's going to go ahead and clean out the siphon tube. He's going to clean out the, the head of the extinguisher. You can see there's a lot of foreign matter and dust particles and things like this inside. He's going to blow all that out. He's going to run a nylon brush through it and then he's going to check that valve stem and the spring and make sure that everything's in good working condition. Remember that the only difference between a six year teardown and a hydrostatic test is simply that we're going to fill that shell full of water and we're going to pressurize it to three times its operating pressure in a hydrostatic test. We're going to record all that um, as opposed to just doing an ex internal examination and external examination of the extinguisher. As you can see here, he's spending some time on this head. He wants to make sure that uh, there is nothing inside there. As that valve stem goes inside of this head, you can see it's very clean after he's worked it over. He wants that valve stem to seat inside there perfectly. He's going to put a little bit of lube on that valve stem. And he's going to put that all back together. And as he does that, he's going to set that to the side. And he's going to empty that extinguisher out next. Remember that you should only deal with uh, doing an internal examination or a hydrostatic test on a fire extinguisher if you are a certified uh, inspector and have been trained to do so. As you can see here, he's throwing it inside. He's getting all the excess dust out of that fire extinguisher here. And from this point, we're going to move into the hydrostatic testing here after he gets that emptied out. Um, as you can see, there's usually a, a lot of dust left over. What we're doing as we're checking the inside of that cylinder is we're trying to make sure there's no dents, divots, rusts, gouges, any caked in dry chemical ABC. Here he's moved on and, and he's filling up the fire extinguisher with water. Uh, we go ahead and we top it off with water before we actually put it into the hydrostatic testing hand pump. Um, when we do so, we're going to be pumping that to three times the operating pressure as printed on the shell. As you can see here, we have a hand pump provided by Getz Equipment Innovators. He's going to go ahead and put that quick coupler on top of that fire extinguisher and he's going to top it off with water and then he's going to test it to three times the operating pressure. He has to let that hold for one minute and it has to hold within one percent of the total test pressure. Here he's inverting the fire extinguisher to get rid of that water, taking off the test plug. And now he's going to go ahead and he's going to take down all the information. He's going to check the diameter of the shell, he's going to check the height, and then he's going to record the information, all the information in, inside this booklet here is going to have the, the height, the diameter, it's going to have the test pressure, and every day that machine has to be test tested to DOT specifications to make sure that the gauges are all calibrated and in good working condition. After he's done doing this portion of the exam, as you can see here, he's, he's checking it over again, the bottom and the, and the top to make sure it's in good working condition. After that cylinder was dried, um, he would be bringing it over here. You can see this is a different extinguisher. Um, the other cylinder is drying. He's coming in here to fill another extinguisher. As you can see, he's pulling that up to within a tenth of, of 10 pounds of ABC dried chemical. After he gets done doing that, he's going to go ahead and put this extinguisher back together. He's going to run a brush around the threads here to make sure that when he gets that head back on, he gets a good O-ring seal. And that O-ring on that head has been lubed up good. And right here, you can also see it's got a service collar. Uh, this is going to provide sufficient evidence that there has been a service done on that fire extinguisher. Places it in the clamp here, and, and what he's going to do next is he's putting a recharge adapter in. He's going to hook dry nitrogen up to that recharge adapter, open it up, and then he's going to go ahead and pressurize it to 195 PSI or whatever the PSI is on that specific fire extinguisher. Many different fire extinguishers are pressurized to 100 PSI or, or 200 and above, depending on the type. And last but not least, he's going to wipe this thing down, make sure that it's in really good condition. Uh, he does a leak test on it to make sure that there is no leak. One of the things we do at Iowa Fire is, is when we do a service on a fire extinguisher, we insist that we keep that extinguisher in the shop for about a week and make sure that we can do a pressure test on it. 
And as you can see here, then I'm going to go ahead and get that hose cleaned off. And you can see right here, you got a little bit of lube around there. And then right, right here, you can see these are some of the contents that we keep, all the different parts and materials. And he's going to finish it off by cleaning the hose, and then he's going to attach that hose back to that fire extinguisher. Again, we are providing these videos for not only fire equipment distributors, but end users, and we use these videos in-house uh, for our fire extinguisher technicians if they're learning how to service fire extinguishers. And uh, again, we, uh, we appreciate uh, everybody that takes time to view these videos. One of the last things that he's doing here is, is in addition to that service collar, he's going to throw on a hydrostatic test tag that he's going to punch. He's going to punch the test pressure. He's going to punch the date and the month, and then he's going to go ahead and sign that after he's done with this fire extinguisher hydrostatic test. Again, thank you for watching the video at iofirecontrol.com. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. If you have any other videos that you would like to request or any information, you can get a hold of us at info at iowafirecontrol.com. Again, it's Noah Carspec and Iowa Fire Control. Have a great day.